हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव स्टडीड व्हाट इज इक्वेशन फॉर स्पीड एंड व्हाट इज स्पीड रेगुलेशन नाउ इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी व्हाट आर द मेथड्स टू कंट्रोल द स्पीड ऑफ डीसी मोटर द फर्स्ट मेथड टू कंट्रोल द स्पीड ऑफ डीसी मोटर इज आर्मेचर रेजिस्टेंस कंट्रोल लेट अस स्टडी दिस मेथड इन डिटेल वी नो दैट द इक्वेशन फॉर स्पीड इज गिवन बाय n is equal to e divided by k into phi now we know the formula for e which is given by e is equal to v minus ia into ra substituting this value of e in above equation we get the equation for speed as n is equal to v minus i a r a divided by k into phi if we see the numerator of this equation we can see that if the voltage drop i a into r a is increased then the voltage will decrease and eventually speed will decrease for decreasing this voltage the armature resistance is increased hence in this method we are going to control the speed by increasing the armature resistance hence the method is called as armature resistance control now let us see the block diagram for armature resistance control first we will see for the dc shunt motor this is the block diagram for speed control of dc shunt motor by using armature resistance control if we see in the diagram the resistance re is connected in series with the armature then there is the armature resistance ra the supply voltage is v rsh is the value of shunt resistance if we see here the armature resistance re acts in series with ra now we have already seen the formula for speed as n is equal to v minus ia ra divided by k into phi now here in this diagram one more resistance re is added in series with ra hence this formula can be modified as hence the total voltage will reduce now as the voltage is decrease the speed will also decrease this type of method is used for dc shunt motor now let us see the characteristic for dc shunt motor the figure shows the speed versus armature current characteristic for dc shunt motor for armature resistance control here this line shows the normal operation that is without the use of series resistor and this line shows the operation with the use of series resistor if we can see carefully the speed with the use of series resistor is decreased as the armature current is increased hence in this method we can control the speed of dc shunt motor at the value lower than its rated speed now let us study for the dc series motor the figure shows the block diagram for speed control of dc series motor by using armature resistance control if we see in this figure the resistance re is connected in series with the field resistance rc then armature resistance ra and here this is the armature of the motor now in order to control the speed in dc series motor there are basically two methods in first method one external resistance re acts in series with the resistance rc that is our field winding resistance in this case there will be the voltage drop across the re as well as rc as the motor is directly connected to the supply in case of dc series motor we know that the flux is directly proportional to armature current hence if we see the total voltage from that total voltage some amount of voltage will get subtracted this value of voltage can be written as
वी टी इज इक्वल टू सप्लाय वोल्टेज वी मायनस आय ए आर ई मायनस आय ए आर एस सी मायनस आय ए इन टू आर ए इफ वी सी ड्यू टू द प्रेझेन्स ऑफ दिस आर ई द वोल्टेज ड्रॉप इज डिक्रीज हेन्स ॲज द वोल्टेज इज डिक्रीजिंग द स्पीड विल ऑल्सो गेट डिक्रीज Now let us see the characteristic for DC series motor. The figure shows the characteristic that is speed versus armature current. Now if we see here with the normal operation that is when there is no external resistance in series with the armature resistance the characteristic shows that the speed decreases with increase in armature current but with the help of the external series resistance the characteristic is below the normal working characteristic. hence we can say that with the use of external series resistance the speed can be controlled below the value of rated speed in this way the speed can be controlled for the dc series motor as well as dc shunt motor now let us see what are the drawbacks of this method the main drawback of this method is that as the external resistance is connected there is a lot of power loss in the external resistance in the form of heat second drawback is that in this method we can only control the speed below the rated speed if we want to control the speed above the rated speed this method cannot be used hence this method is basically used for small dc motors thank you friends for watching this video stay tuned with ekida and do subscribe our channel ekida thank you